Hello and welcome into Tough Gaming, guys. We're back on Grandpa's farm, and yes, I think it is going to be a struggle. Um, but yeah, trying to remember what I done last time uh, through the tutorial or the tour. But yeah, it looks like we need a lot of plowing, a lot of fertilising, a lot of liming. So yeah, we need all this equipment as well to be able to do these jobs. Uh, but this one's got canola in, so I think we've done that through, <coughs> through the tour. Sorry guys, <coughs> bit of a frog in my throat. Um, but this one needs liming and ploughing. Uh, we have got canola in here actually, so we might be able to harvest that one. Um, I think these cows are going to have to go, guys. Um, because, yeah, we can't produce any milk or anything in one of these pastures for the start. And I think they're beef cows, so and they're 50 months, so yeah, they're really old too. So I think the best idea is to get rid of these and start again. Um, I'll probably get rid of the pasture as well, because like I said, even if we stick milkers in there, we won't be able to produce milk. So it's a pretty pointless um, thing there, unless you are just doing beef. So I think we get rid of that, and I'll stick my other one in. Well, I'll stick one in instead. Um, but they are quite expensive, guys. Um, and they will the money will go really quickly. Right, so I decided we're going to chuck it by there. Hopefully it's not going to interfere with anything. But we shall see as we're playing the game. Uh, but yeah, I couldn't afford the robot one, because uh, that would be the easiest way. Uh, the same again... I want to be able to stick food in there first before I add any cattle. Um, but I think with this meadow grass we might be able to get away with sticking some cattle in there. Uh, and hopefully they'll be okay. They'll eat the meadow grass. But I'm not sure if the meadow grass is going to grow again. So yeah, we need to get TMR up and running as soon as we can. Uh, and by the look of this machinery, we're definitely going to need a lot of new machinery to be honest guys. So, uh, to help towards that, I suppose we're going to have to start doing contracts. Um, and if we do these fertilising contracts, we might be able to get around about 10, close to 10,000 maybe, by doing free contracts. Uh, so that'll be a good start towards some of the machinery. Um, have we got a grass one? Um, harvesting, I don't know whether we're going to be able to do that, to be honest. But that mowing one there, that's five grand, that is. Um, I think we might do the mowing one first. Uh, same again, if you've seen any of my previous videos. Um, I am having problems with the grass. Uh, like making hay. Uh, my game do crash quite a bit when I'm making hay um, so I don't know how this is going to go guys uh, it might crash, it might not I'm hoping it don't because uh, like I said it's grass work and um, yeah my game seems to crash when I'm doing any um, grass work for some reason right so we need to get the field 11 so let's quick take a quick trek down there Right, slow down. Whoa. Oh, I was lucky. Right, okay. I do like that we still got the movement in the cloth as well when we're driving. That's pretty cool. That was good in 22 as well. But yeah, I do like that. That looks pretty realistic again. Right, so I'm probably going to start this, guys, but I'll probably skip it, to be honest. Um bring you back at the end so if I start this off I will probably yeah I will I'll bring you back at the end guys just to shorten the video a little bit bear with me right then so this is near enough the end of the contract and yeah you do leave quite a bit of grass as well guys and it's saying the contract is complete so we're just going to go with it do what they tell us to do because uh, my mower wouldn't cut the grass anyway even though there was some left so we're going to collect on that that's going to help towards our funds 
But yeah, we're definitely going to need new machinery, guys. Definitely. Um, but yeah, what to do and where to start with. We definitely need some of this. Uh, a forage wagon. But same again, have we got the machinery what's going to run some of the equipment we're going to need? Um, I don't know whether we're going to get away with a lot of this, to be honest. Um, I do want a TMR maker for definite. Um, do I go the expensive route? Uh, at least I know I've got a good, well, pretty good capacity on this one. Um, so yeah, it all depends on the funds again. We might have to just bite the bullet. Maybe get a loan. Uh, but for now, we we'll think we need to start mid-range or small-ish. Uh, just because of the power of the machinery we got. Um, so maybe go the middle of the table, maybe. Uh, yeah, let's go with this. I don't normally use this type of stuff, but I want to try and play the game properly. I don't want to cheat any money in. So let's just go with the cheap loss option. Uh, I don't think much of this makes any difference, to be honest, guys. Just preference, to be honest. I was always hoping we got the power to run some of this machinery we need, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, we definitely need one of these, because I play with stones. Oh, we definitely need fertiliser, fertiliser spreaders, lime spreaders. Oh, man. Decisions, decisions. I hate the amount I can't put money in. Just makes my life so much easier. Um, but we're definitely gonna need it, isn't we? Okay. Right, how much of the bags then? I think the bags and the pallets are probably the same price for the same um, quantity. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. Right, okay. We'll probably go with the pallets, it's just as easy. Uh, let's get a couple of these to get us going. Right then, let's make our way up to the shop, I suppose. Right, slow down, boy. Oh, van. Oof, van or the hedge. Uh, yeah, the hedge was the better option, I think. The van probably would have smashed me over. <laughs> I'll start getting the crash kinked or something right then right looks clear let's go for it yeah I do like where the cars take over you as well now which is pretty cool it's good to see that they added that but um, yeah as long as they got a bit of sense and they don't take over you when you're going around the corner oh that could be carnage right then so that's two bits of new equipment we got to start us. Right, I'll quickly fill this up, guys, and I'll bring you back, probably. Da -da. Right then, where are we going? Right, so we got three contracts. I think that's all the way down the bottom. Uh, not sure where that one was. Mid-table, maybe? Yeah, one was all the way up there, wasn't it? So I think these are pretty scattered around. Like, where was the first one? Yeah, that looks down the bottom of the map, I think that one is, guys. Yep. Yeah. Right then, so... I usually use the workers quite a lot, if I can. Uh, yeah, it's going to eat into quite a bit of our money. Um, but they do get to the destinations, as you... Well, not as you can see, because I've already cut all that out. Um, but yeah, they do get to the destinations pretty well, which surprised me. And I will be using workers in the fields as well, so I can get on with other jobs and other tasks around the farm. So yeah, it does help. I'm just hoping this thing now has got enough power to um, help us run the farm a little bit. Otherwise it's pretty pointless having it on the farm. Uh, but I will be upgrading the tractors anyway, to be honest. Uh, I don't know if I like this view with this tractor, to be honest either, guys. 
Um, it's like with the window got a uh, partition in the middle. Uh, I don't know whether that's because of the exhaust as well. But um, yeah, it doesn't like this view at all, to be honest. But um, yeah, we'll have to make do for now, unfortunately. Can't buy a new track there. Yeah? Right, is this going to even have the power to even run this thing? I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm hoping it does. I'm really hoping it does. Otherwise, that's going to stop us doing another task. Oh, man. Right then. Let's try and get you without crashing now. Right then, I'll probably skip this journey, to be honest. Because otherwise the video is going to be too long. Right, well, yeah, let's see if we can pick this up then. So this is what was left off the tutorial. Uh, I just wish uh, we'd done the full field in the tutorial, to be honest, guys. Because I'm not sure how much we're going to be left with, yeah? What's that? 121,000, maybe? Uh, which ain't going to go far, to be honest. But it's better than none. At least it's a start. So if we got the money, we might have to do some field flipping. <laughs> to try and get what we need to start off this farm. The same again. Depends on the funds. Oh, well that's took all that. So we're definitely going to need more straw. So that's going to be a bit of a problem. Yeah, we got quite a bit to do on this farm already. Right, that's that one done. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so let's collect on our one. Right then, let's get these other two before they disappear. Right, that one's there, that one's there. Which one's the closest? Let's have a look. Same again, I'll get the worker to get to the destination, guys. Because they are pretty good. As long as they haven't got no big massive machinery stuck on them, they're, um, they're usually okay getting to their destination. Right. Let's have a look. Here we two, so over there on the left. And the other one's up further. Right, okay, so we may as well go to the one on the left first. So I'll quickly set him a destination. I'll skip the journey, guys. Right, he's away. Right then, guys, I think we need to either make some room and make a little bit of money. So I might get a bit of some of these sheds around the farm as well. I don't think it's going to give us much income, but it might be better than nothing. And we're not really going to use some of these sheds, to be honest. We're going to be too busy around the farm to be parking stuff up for too long. Especially if we're doing contracts in between as well. But yeah, that field, I'll probably skip most of that as well. Right then, so the worker's at his destination. So I'll set him off again. Get this field out the way. Bring some more funds back in. Right. Let's have a look. So yeah, we get rid of that. Like I said, it's not loads of money, but it's a start. So that's a big 50 odd thousand we got back. Uh, yeah, maybe 50, close to 60 thousand for all of us so far. Uh, I'll probably leave the rest of it. But um, yeah, we'll see as we go. I'll leave that honey, see if anything spawns. Right then, that field's done. Let's empty that. I'll check the canola prices later off camera, probably, guys. Uh, I'll just get it in the soil away right away for now. But it's going to be a bit of start. And uh, yeah, we'll probably have to upgrade this harvester later on down the road as well. Uh, do we really want to be getting loans and all at the start? Not if I can help it, but if it helps to get the machinery we need, then yeah, I probably will. Right, so that's our field done. Let's set another destination. And we'll collect on that one. 
So here's another couple of pounds for a mini money bank. Or piggy bank. <laughs> right, let's chuck this in the silo. So we've done quite a few jobs already, guys, on the farm. For the first morning, first day. So we're doing okay. Right, I'll set a work it off in this field as well. That's the canola put away. Right then, I have missed a couple of things out, haven't I, round by this cow shed. Right then, so, go to silo extensions, guys, if you want a manure. Because uh, if you put the normal manure heap, for some reason, it ain't picking it up. But if you go to the extensions, it will pick it up, guys. Guaranteed. Right then, let's get this little clamp in as well. Get some silage up and running. Same again, we need to buy grass or plant grass somewhere to get this up and running. But yeah, baby steps, but we will get it eventually. And like I said, I prefer to get a loan rather than put money in. <coughs> Excuse me. Right then, that's the other contract then. So we're flying through the contracts, it's just not very much pay. Right, have we got another fertilising one? Ooh, yes we have. We'll probably do that one as well. May as well take it on while we still got some fertiliser. But yeah, we does need to remember to um, keep some for our farm as well. Otherwise we'll be buying more bags of fertiliser. Same again, I'll send the worker. Get him on the destination. Right then, this is what I want, I want a big fent, uh, but yeah, we just can't afford it at the moment. 400 odd thousand, that's going to quickly go now, because I'm going to have to buy some uh, some equipment. Um, I just hope we got the machinery, was, um, got the power to run it. Because as you can see, it doesn't tell you what power we got it tells you in the shop what it can do but when we go looking at our machinery it doesn't tell you what we got it tells you the same as what's in the shop so it doesn't really help at all to be honest guys so to be on the safe side i'll just get that one get the stone collected as well we're going to need that and let's get a trailer for the stones Oh man, this money's going down rapidly. Right, let's get the TMR mixer as well. Bite the bullet, let's do it. Do it, do it. Oh, come on, just get the big one. Mm, man, I just don't know whether we got the power to run it. Oh man. Decisions, decisions. Let's just go for it. If i got to hire a tractor for an hour or two, I'll have to. Right then, I'm hoping this has got enough power for this plough now. Oh man, I just don't know. Please work. Please, please work. Right then. I'll probably skip this journey as well, guys. Why is this video going to be um, dragging on too long? And we're just about managing to keep our wheels on the floor, I think. <laughs> Right then, here's the test. We're back at our fields. And uh, yeah, let's hire a worker and see if he can do it. Oh man, please have enough power. Fingers crossed we will. Right then, let's get this one done. And this will be like the fourth or fifth contract already. So it's not too bad. Oh, it looks like it can pull it. It's struggling, but it can pull it. That's what matters at the moment. Right then, I'll probably call it there, guys. And um, yeah, we've had a busy morning. But yeah, I think I'll call it there and pray everything goes to plan. Thanks for your time as always, guys. Much, much appreciated. Bye.